Ireland under 20 coach Mike Ruddock. Mike, we're a few days out from a championship decider game with England. What's the mood like in camp? Yeah, it's very good. Uh, nice and relaxed. Uh, the boys have uh, drawn really on the conference they got from the French game uh, out in France, getting the result there to put them in good, uh, good form really and uh, confident form. Uh, going off to England, we know it's going to be tough, but uh, that result out in France has really stood to us and we feel uh, that we're a team capable of going and standing toe to toe with the English. You've had four wins out of four, but as you've said, that, that French game was really the kind of the key point in the season, wasn't it? Why was that such a crucial game? Well, you know, you know, and uh, anybody in rugby w w would realise going to France and getting a result is never easy. Um, you've got to dig in, you've got to show uh, fortitude, you've got to show skill, you've got to show courage and bravery. And that's what we did. And, uh, you know, it was uh, closing moments out in France where 10,000, uh, you know, so French supporters were willing their team over the line and we held them, we held them out. And, uh, you know, that galvanised the team uh, significantly, really. And, uh, you know, we felt that that was a key moment in our season so far and of course has set us up for this moment in time. Several members of the squad were in the squad last season as well. Has that, has that brought a sense of maturity and, and balance to the squad as well? Yeah, it has, yeah. And those guys have really been leading from the front. You know, they are the uh, backbone of the team. They've, uh, they've been the bedrock of the team. What's been good is that, of course, uh, they've, because they worked with us in the systems last year, they've been sort of the, uh, the key drivers, if you like, in terms of making sure those systems run uh, according to plan this season. And, you know, what happened as well for them was the experience they got from the Six Nations and uh, the World Cup last year has helped them to tell the other guys about the standards that we need to attain to, uh, to be successful. So it's not just the coaching staff banging the drum, it's been the senior players banging the drum. And uh, we've become a team and uh, a hard-working team. And I think that's been our mantra, is that we're looking to outwork the opposition and uh, be harder workers than them. And I think that's been our trademark if you like going forward. Now we spoke to your captain Paddy Jackson earlier on and Paddy talked about the transition from school into the academy and how playing in the likes of the Ulster Bank League helped him make a step up then as well with Ulster in, in, in to, to the league and Heineken Cup. How important is that transition for these younger players coming through the clubs? Yeah it's huge but they're all you know they're all in good uh, in good environments really. Most of them are, are in academies where they've been very well coached their conditioning uh, programs are fantastic so they really are accelerating in terms of their development and learning and uh, yeah you know they're in good places really. And just looking forward to the game on Friday uh, yeah. I mean nobody wants to say the words Grand Slam or Champions or anything like that it's, a, it's about taking the next game isn't it? Yeah nothing changes for us you know that's been the, you know, the way we approach this week really is it it's been the same as, as every other week I know you guys hear that in the media all the time but it really is the truth What's worked so far, we feel, will work uh, this week. And so that's been the way we've approached it, really. It's been uh, just uh, making sure that our game plan is focused on, our preparations are focused on, our routines are the same. You know, we don't change anything too much. And, uh, yeah, we're in good shape. We're looking forward to it. Mike, good luck. Thank you very much.